everyone. So today is part four of the mask series of reviews and today I'm reviewing the Shea Moisture Sensitive Skin Mud Mask. This is the Peace Rose Oil Complex with Date Palm and Camellia Extracts. It's to soften and calm your face. Um, it is mud so that is perfect for someone with oily skin. Um, I actually got this one at Walmart. I figured, um, at first I was like, I don't know if I want to review a Walmart mask because I'm like, it's Walmart, you know? No one wants to get a mask from Walmart. And then I was thinking, I was like, I'm not too good for Walmart. No, I don't know. So my boyfriend actually found these for me and he's like, hey, you should review these. And I was like, aw, thank you. You're right. Um, so I actually got two for $5. And the reason why I decided to do Walmart was because one, it's affordable. And two, because you can get a variety of different masks. I got another one that I'll be reviewing that's not from Shea Moisture. There was other brands there that you can choose from. And these are like single use masks. So in case you don't like it, you didn't like buy a whole big one like my Freeman ones I have those are huge and even though they are fairly inexpensive you know you don't want to like have this whole product you know at least with this you can be like eh, I don't like it toss it never buy it again where the Freeman one you still have like a whole bottle left and you're like what do I do with this? And Walmart's just a little bit more accessible. You know, when you go to Ulta, you're specifically making a separate trip to go to Ulta or Sephora or wherever. But with Walmart, you know, you can easily get this, you know, when you're going to buy groceries or you need some laundry detergent or you're getting an oil chain. So this is actually a really good brand. Um, it says this moisturizing mud mask deeply purifies sensitive skin as it soothes, comforts, enrich with skin nourishing certified organic shea butter and non-proprietary complex of alpine alpine damask damask and musk rose oils i don't know if i'm saying that right it leaves skin feeling soft smooth and refreshed apply a thin layer of mud with fingertips keep cl to clean skin avoid eye area of course keep on for 10 minutes and remove with a damp washcloth use weekly or as needed rinse well cool sometimes some of those sheet masks like 30 minutes i'm like Okay, I'm just ready to take this off. So I'm glad it's only 10 minutes. <laughs> My little impatient ass. Um, on the back, it's cruelty free. It's a family owned and operated business. Um, certified organic, natural, and fair trade ingredients. Not all the ingredients in here are, but some of them are. Um, community commerce, certified B Corporation, ethically traded, substantially produced. Um, so the shea butter in this is organic. So that's pretty cool and if you're someone that definitely you know like I've talked about before likes cruelty free products this is cruelty free so I'm just going to rip right into this and we are going to get started All right. so right off the bat this has the most beautiful rose smell I love rose water it's like a light gray color so I'm just going to evenly apply this um, when you do masks you don't want them to be super thick like they are up here but you don't want to like rub them to filth <laughs> to nothing like you would like lotion or moisturizer you know what I mean like you're not rubbing this in to absorb it into the skin it smells so good I end up getting some new camera equipment for you guys I'm in the process of trying to figure out if I want another ring light or if I want some box lights um, but I did get another tripod so the ring light doesn't have to sit on like a box so that's nice because then I'll have one for my phone and one for my ring light because I do I am kind of fancy you guys I am kind of cool and have a ring light that's how I get such nice lighting for these videos so I'm just really excited about having all my stuff back and able to play with it and film videos for you guys because that's why I missed a video last week or so. Yeah, last week. Because when I got my wisdom teeth out, I didn't know. Like, I never have been put under anesthesia. And that's just a whole other story in itself about me freaking out. About being, like, artificially put under. So, I actually 
was like, I don't know how I'm gonna be after surgery. You know, I'm generally, I mean, I know I'm fat, <laughs> but I'm generally like a healthy person. Like I don't have high blood pressure, or high cholesterol surprisingly. And I didn't know if I would be wonky or sick or like lying on my deathbed. And like literally the next day I went to Target. Like it was nothing. So if you're scared for, about getting your wisdom teeth out, it's not bad. I had little to no pain the entire time. So I didn't have any of my stuff with me and I was like, what am I gonna do? How can I film? So I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't have my equipment. I don't know what to film. I don't have anything to film. I'm so bored. I'm dying. Cause I thought my boyfriend borrow it. <laughs> and then I was like regretting it because I was so bored out of my mind. I wasn't in pain at all. So. I'm happy to be back and yeah this mask is like kind of burning a little I'm not gonna lie like close to my lip and now my forehead it's burning maybe that little delpha man or demo man or demo mask or whatever it was called maybe that is something that I've never experienced before and that's why it's burning I'm not burning like oh like I need to get it off like but like kind of burning like when you wear Nair and you're like okay it's that time when it's time to take the Nair off yeah, it's just like burning slightly. I am going to set my clock now and I will see if it continues burning. I will do a five minute check-in and then I will come back. So let's see how it goes. Hey guys, back again. So um, it definitely has dried down. It's looking really patchy. Um, it's definitely getting to a little cracky, but it's still pretty damp. Um, and yeah, it's still burning a little. <laughs> Um, nothing that's unbearable, but, you know, it's a little weird because, I want to point this out too, it says sensitive skin. Is it that it makes your skin sensitive? Because I don't know how somebody with sensitive skin is going to get this on. Because I, I don't have sensitive skin. I don't know. Does anyone else do that whenever they wear like clay masks that dry down and then it feels like your face is in that encasing and you're like mm, 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 trying to like break everything? Or am I just weird? Anyway, I will see you in my next check-in. Peace. Hey guys, so this is looking really crazy. I think it's a little wet and thick and some parts as you can see they're like a smidge darker, but it actually dried um like really thin which is so crazy because okay i love my dead sea mask from freeman but this is like tripping me out like it literally dried transparent like you can see all my freckles it definitely didn't look like this at the beginning of the video because even when i use the freeman one um it's like still thick, you know what I mean? Like even though it's completely dry and cracking, it's really thick. And so I'll like, I have to like wet it and I'm just like pulling chunks off, but this is going to come off in like a breeze. Um, it doesn't burn anymore, obviously. Um, so I'm just gonna go wash it off and then I'll come back and tell you how the skin looks. Hey guys, I'm back. So I just rinsed off the mask with some warm water and a washcloth. Um, right off the bat, my skin, I feel like, looks really clear. It looks really bright and really clear, so I'm loving that. Um, it's not as soft as my Dead Sea Skin mask leaves me, that clay one. Um, I definitely don't feel soft. Like, I just feel like my regular face. But it is, um... A mud mask so it's still to absorb oil so an oil is what would make your face really soft so if you're not going for softness you're going for clarity and brightness I give it a thumbs up if you're going for softness um, and your favorite your face just feeling so smooth and so soft um, I give it a thumbs down I'm giving it a thumbs down because it burned my face so that was just a little bit annoying um, I give it a thumbs up because I really liked the way that it dried down like it didn't dry down thick and heavy like my other one does I just I really liked that I really felt like it really absorbed into the skin um, so that's nice so maybe I'll get some benefits from it later um, but yeah so kind of a mixed review it says that it is supposed to soften and calm your face I'm giving it a thumbs up and a thumbs down I go by what the mask says. I'm gonna leave this one up in the air. 
I'm gonna let you guys decide. I guess I don't recommend it because I don't think that I would ever buy this one again. It does calm my skin, but so does my sea, my sea salt one. Even though I really like the way it dried down and I really like the smell, I like the smell of the other one too. I feel like the other one does brighten and does calm and soften my face. Yeah, that's my final thoughts on it. Um, I say try it because you might have a better experience depending on maybe your skin is oilier than mine, maybe your skin is normal, um, maybe your skin is dry and it would work better for you. But as for me, I probably would never purchase this again. So. I'm saying to try it on you. I'm not totally being like, absolutely not. This won't work for anybody. No, hell no. Um, but for me, I don't like this. I probably wouldn't use it again. Anyway, you guys have a great afternoon. Uh, I will see you in a future video. And I will see you in part five of the mask review series. Mwah!